So you guys want your uh, version of System Shock to look like this? Step into the graph shaft to, to right proceed now. to the street level I'm recruitment. Got some high res textures. I'm going to show you all the different mods that I'm using and show you how to install them. What's up guys? We are going to mod System Shock 2. Uh, it just came out on Good Old Games and all of you guys are playing it. So I figured I would make a video showing you guys all the mods I'm using and how to make it look really nice. Because a lot of people were asking in the stream. So let's get right down to business, shall we? Alright, yeah, yeah, this song's going off. Perfect. Okay. This is a really handy website, systemshock.org. Uh, you can go up there. There's a newbie modding guide that'll really get you started. Um, the first thing you want to do is download the uh, SS2 tool and uh, version 5.0 just came out to accommodate those of us that have downloaded the good old games version so before we do that of course we need to install the file so when you download the one from good old games you get a, a setup file so just go ahead and install that normally put it in whatever folder you like uh, I'm not gonna hold your hand through this part because that's not what this video is about go away now after you download and install this when you first download it it'll ask you you know where do you want to install this to just select the folder in which you have System Shock installed. So here's my uh, System Shock folder. It will make some new folders and some new files, some new config files. These are the two new folders. Now, what's cool about this is um, there's there's a mod manager, but it's not fully compatible with a lot of the new mods. So we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Now you see these two folders here: Data Perm and Data Temp mods. Now the way this works, if you want to, you know, use one of these mods. You can simply just drop it into the data perms folder, and nine times out of ten, that'll work. Now, data temp mods, uh, what what you can do here is test out your mods. So you've got a new mod, and you want to make sure it works with some of your existing mods. You drop it in here. Like I have the interface mod in there because I wanted to make sure it worked with all the other things. Uh, and then there's there's an order you should install these in uh, because some mods overwrite other mods. Now, the first mod that uh, that I'm going to install. Let me just move this aside is going to be the uh, texture update project. So you just, uh, I'll put all the links in the, uh, on an article on Tech Syndicate. So you go there and it really does a lot for the muzzle flashes, for the doors, just for, you know, the general textures. Look at that. That's a major difference. So it takes care, takes care of a lot of different things. Now there are some amazing textures um, from different modders that you can add on top of this. So we do that one first, and then we do Rebirth, because that does a lot of the character uh, models and that sort of thing. So you do those two. Now, what I did first is I just downloaded all these to a uh, folder and then just started installing them. So Rebirth does character models. And this is a patch. So ADAOB, that's a patch. And you want to grab this, install that next. This is a music update. This doesn't really override anything, but what it does is it takes all the original music and gives you a higher quality version. So, just higher bit rate. You definitely want uh, 400. SS2 400 really helps the uh, textures. So, which gives you much higher resolution textures, and that's always nice. Uh, tactical weapon replacements. It makes the weapons look a lot better because the weapons that are you know in the original game are pretty crappy. See see the difference there? Major difference. The wrench looks way better. So we've got all those there. Uh, make sure you use the pistol uh, that's compatible with the uh, patch that we have, that we installed. So make sure you use that pistol and not that pistol. Download that one and all of these. All right. Next up, the Psyamp, because the Psyamp looks pretty crappy too. Some people call it the Death Star. Download that one. One more thing before I go on. You'll notice that this one is an SS2 mod. Uh, just rename that to .zip and you'll be just fine because an SS2 mod is for the System Shock mod uh, manager. But we're not going to be using that. We're doing it all manually. And here's some optional textures that you can install. I definitely recommend uh, this one, Vert's High Res Space Textures. Very nice. Just download that one, 7-zip file. Uh, then we've got some more Vert's mods. Uh, Goo. You want to install this after the texture pack because it will overwrite some things in the texture pack his blood decals and stuff. So here's all the different ones you can do. Uh, you only want to download one version of the egg and the egg is uh, these things here, that's that. So download one version of that.
Look at that. Yes. It is immaculate. I like it. And um, this is, you know, not a big deal, but when you're on Earth, there's some clouds and they look really crappy. Let me go ahead and play this. No, it doesn't want to play. Well, the clouds look really crappy, so grab New Sky, and, and that one helps a lot. Uh, this one, you do need to open up one of your config folders and uh, add a line. There it is. Yeah, it makes the sky look much better. Just when you're on Earth in the, in the beginning. Alright, that one you're going to want to go to your um, System Shock 2 folder here. And you're going to want to right click. And I use, I use Notepad++, but if you guys use Notepad, you can edit this with Notepad. Or just open with, you know, go down and click Open with Notepad. Uh, and that will open up the cam config file. All these empty lines here, I don't need all that. So down here on the bottom here, you see we have Enhanced Sky 1. You want to add that line to the bottom. And you can go through here and change things if you see things in here you want to change as well, but you know, I wouldn't mess with anything unless you know what you're doing. Like this, I, I did this manually to get uh, 2560 by 1440 because I have a larger monitor and that's not supported uh, natively, but it works perfectly if I just put that in there. Go ahead and save that. The floor overhaul is, is interesting. I quite like that, so I grabbed the floor overhaul. And then this is an interface uh, change, which makes the interface look a lot better. Like, you want this, trust me. It makes the interface look so much better. So grab that. And then after you're done, you should have them all in a folder. So I'll show you where I've got all mine. So I just went through this and installed them in the order. And like I said, it's really easy. You just open them up. And there'll be a bunch of files. You just extract this into the folder. Let me... Uh, Go back and show you what folder it is, just just in case. In your System Shock 2 folder, into the data perms or data perm or the data temp, whichever one you want to do. So yeah, just drop it in there and do them in you know kind of the right order. So that's pretty much all there is to it. After that, the game should run uh, just fine. One other thing I want to note: um, if you guys want to improve some of the visuals, we can come down here and edit the cam ext.cfg. Let me open that up and just show you some of the edits I've made to this. Uh, now I went through this, and uh, you can turn on VSync. I'm gonna turn on VSync mode seven. See what that does. Set your frame cap if you want. Uh, I've got it to force windowed because I like being able to click out of the game. Uh, looking on down here, you can change your FOV here. Uh, this is commented out like that. Uh, oops, like that with a semicolon. You just erase that and then change your value here. The default is 90. I like a little wider. So moving on down, all the way down at the bottom here, we have some bloom scale. Uh, now these, uh, you can change these and get just a little bit, you know, more interesting lighting. I changed my bloom saturation, uh, turn that on, bloom threshold to 0.85, bloom scale to 4. So you guys can play around with these and look at the game and see how you like it. Other than that, um, that's about all there is to it. So play around with these, see what happens. If something goes wrong, you can always, you know, comment them back out. But that's that, and uh, then once you get into the game, it's going to look nice. All you do to load the game is just click on shock. And there you go. Nice and pretty. Look at you, hacker. Yeah, you're creepy. You're real creepy. Fantastic Welcome to the Ramsey Center now. UNN recruitment facility. Lighting a lot in this Please game. watch your step when leaving. So there you have it. That's how you mod uh, System Shock 2. You'll see a link in the description to all these mods. Uh, that should be a link to an article that I wrote that has a list of all these mods. And I'm going to put them in the same order in which I installed them, so that way it's a little easier. Um, you guys don't have to install all of them. You can all, you know, pick and choose the ones you want. Or you can go over to systemshock.org or even, you know, other places on the web and find mods. And it should be pretty easy. After you've uh, used the System Shock tool, uh, version 5, it makes your game moddable. And then after that, you can do whatever you like. So there you have it. Enjoy the game. See you guys online. Oh, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And also, if you want to check out some uh, video game play stuff, or just video game videos, Beer Games Beers. Beer.